The medical marijuana that the government supplies for of us today has been growing at the University of Mississippi in Oxford since the 70s. It grows every year, I guess. And, um, and they, they ship it to North Carolina and they get it rolled into papers and then uh, like they look like a pole mall. I wish I had one now, but I'm leaving tomorrow and all of those are gone. All I, ha I have now in there is, uh, is my uh, utensils and things like that. And they don't smell much like marijuana sometimes. I don't know, I, this, this new batch, I can't wait to get back home and, and really pay more attention because I automatically just took them out of the things and started making my oil so I could bake with it and stuff because I have to concentrate it because of the low THC. And it didn't dawn on me till after I'm doing my little capsules and I'm looking at it and saying, wait a minute, I, I haven't had to clean this. This is clean. Oh my God, what is it? And then I read, oh, it's from last year. Wow, that's awesome. That's great. So I'm really looking forward to humidifying it, which you always have to do because it's been freeze-dried, and then re-rolling it and, and, and smoking it or vaporizing it. I will definitely be doing both when I get home. I have to carry my cannabis with me because I don't want that suitcase to get lost with six tins with a six months, five months supply of marijuana for me. So what happens is I just uh, put it in my backpack, in my purse. I carry with it all the time and always wonder, you know, what craziness is going to happen next, who's going to ask what. But I carry a little card that my doctor has signed that says I'm a federally federal patient receiving medical marijuana 